the fastest way in It's your boy, One Doctor Genius, back with another Prodigy video. Yo, what's going on, everyone? Summerfest is here. Now, I was. Now, you guys would have probably remembered that I said something. So, in this video, I'll be making that video and showing you guys the fastest ways in Prodigy to get sand dollars, right? So let's get straight to it. Now I'm showing you guys the fastest ways, right? These are the absolute fastest ways which you guys can use. So in this video, I won't be including the other uh, Dino Dig Oasis ways and maybe other ways which people may find. So these are basically the fastest three ways which you guys can use. Right now, skipping everything else, sand dollars are the currency used. Athena basically trades sand dollars with you. And in order for this, ooh, we have 23 sand dollars. Let's see if we can buy something. Yeah. No, we cannot buy the rubber ducky. This is a war crime. I thought I already had the spots though. Oh wait, no, I think I did that on my other account. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Well, either way, we mostly have majority of the shop bought out. So, anyways, let's go to the first way. The first way is by spinning the wheel of the sun, basically. Spinning the wheel of the sun. Basically, we have Koi over here. Koi is in charge of the wheel of the sun. Right now, on the wheel of the sun, you guys can see there are 10 items. These 10 items will remain through all of Summerfest, right? Now, one out of these 10 items is a sand dollar or has an image of the sand dollar. This is not a. This is not. Now, this sand dollar over here represents 25 different sand dollars which you guys collect if it lands on this. So basically, spin the wheel, hope you guys get lucky and get 25 sand dollars. Now, 25 sand dollars is the equivalent of 3 battles if you round up, so it's not too bad of a deal. Now, based on battles, what I'm gonna say is that over here, I'm using the basic ones of each how many sand dollars you get from defeating an Apollox. Right, so let's just spin this again, and we'd get approximately 2.5 Apollox cut in half for the sand dollars. Now, of course, you do have a 1 in 10 chance of getting this, which would be like you have a 10% chance of getting these sand dollars. So, all in all, it really depends on your luck. And if you guys get a double spin, well, then you have a 5% chance of getting it. So, yeah, it really doesn't increase your chances. They kind of just stay the same. So, I don't think that went very well over there. So, let's just got, let, so let me just show you guys a clip in which I did get myself the sand dollars. So, even Sanctus Fly Mirror moves, right? She moved over from the swimming pool and is under an umbrella. And to be honest, it is starting to reach peak summers where I live. It's getting really hot, like 40, 45 degrees, which is kind of annoying. And over here, you guys can see we landed on the sand dollars. And over here, we shall get 25 sand dollars. Right over here, you guys see, it's a clip where I got myself sand dollars. We got 25 of them. Now, 25 sand dollars is not too bad. Like, you guys could buy a fair bit of items from Athena. Now, the next thing which you guys would have noticed is that there's a dancing sign. If you guys click on the sign, it tells you something, a long story about creatures, but let me just cut all of that stuff out. Basically, they're creatures in Lamp Playtown. Go hunt them down, defeat them, and you guys will get 10 sand dollars. So for that, you just have to explore around all of Lamp Playtown, and really, the exploration part is only the thing which takes the longest. Now, the only downside of this is that it occurs once a day, so if Summerfest lasts for 30 days, you'll only get 300. So you guys can't use these two things as your main method. You guys have to use all three methods, which I'm showing here, in order to buy everything from the shop in a single, in a single festival. Right, so now over here you guys can see there's an app lot. Now guys, don't worry about losing against the app lot. You guys would have to lose 240 times before the app lot would disappear. Now where did this number come from? Well, that's because assuming you lose a battle every 6 minutes and there are 60... So you'd and there's 60 minutes in an hour, so you'd basically lose 10 battles an hour, and the app lot will change positions in 24 hours. So that's basically 24 times 10, meaning you'd have to lose 240 times in order for this guy to disappear. And the only time he really disappears is when you win a battle. They do not disappear if you lose because they're here to get food. They aren't gonna leave if you lose. Like, duh. So yeah, you basically have to battle them and defeat them. Now guys, do remember, these are rare edition pets, so they only appear during this festival and this festival only. They cannot be caught in any other zone, so think before destroying them. But either way, I can destroy them. It's safe for me. I already have a few of these. Now that you guys have beaten up a monster who was trying to get food from Summerfest and did a good deed for Athena, you guys get rewarded with 10 sand dollars. Alright guys, so after beating up 
poor monster was just trying to get food from Summerfest, Athena will reward you with 10 sand dollars. Only 10! And you also chase the monster out of land, Blight Town. Now this is the second way, of course it will only take you like a few minutes to explore around all of land, Blight Town, and it does have an exclamation mark above its head, you guys will easily be able to spot the monster. And because you guys are easily able to spot it, you guys will easily get those 10, 10 sand dollars, right? So now those are two methods which you guys can use. Another method which you guys can use is just going around and battling monsters, right? So basically any zone which you guys go and battle a monster, you get the amount of um, sand dollars on how many monsters you battle. You battle one, you get one. You battle two, you get two. You battle three, you get three. You guys get what I mean. And for boss battles, it's basically the same thing. You battle one boss, you get one. That's all. Alright, so now you guys might be wondering, can we get it from Tower Town? Well, no. I don't think you guys are going to be able to get it from Tower Town. I think you'd have to build up basically all of Tower Town and stuff, and yeah. I don't think it's possible to get this from Tower Town. Now, what about the arena? The arena's new in Prodigy. Well, what about it? Um, well, so far, I I have played in the arena a little bit, like a day after, and during that entire day, I did not get a single sand dollar from the arena. What does this mean? This means that the arena will not supply you sand dollars and you guys will have to do something else. But don't worry, you guys can completely sacrifice this because 30 days will not be too much out of 108 days remaining. In 108 days, it will be the 28th of September before the arena ends. You guys basically have like a couple months until it ends. So yeah, you guys can you guys can perfectly spend time on this festival and you guys will still have enough time for the arena. Right guys, so with all things calculated, I hope this video basically showed you guys the fastest ways to get sand dollars in Prodigy in the fastest video. So right guys, I tried to like just cram everything down into like an obsidian type package of information which you guys can use. Now guys, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me feedback on how my videos like, am I speaking too fast or stuff like that, or not enough information, too much information, or like, you could remove this part out. Because I want to make my quick informational videos as informational as possible and make them speed so you guys don't have to like skip through because I noticed that's sometimes a problem. So yeah, wanted to make sure that works out for you guys and if you guys haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you guys could smash that subscribe button down below and destroy the like button. And if you guys can, you guys are pog. And if you guys don't, well, thank you and I respect your opinion for not doing that. But anyways guys, comment down below, um, I really appreciate it, and yeah, I'll be catching y'all next time, one Dr. Genius is going to go obliterate some monsters.